Hello everybody and welcome back to Morphine Folia. We are jumping in again. Let's randomize our character. As you can see, I played a little earlier as Arachna. Let's jump in and play as Tainted Mastema. Why the hell not? He's a fun character. We played as re regular Mastema pretty recently. Tainted Mastema is a whole lot of fun as well. Uh, we also did add a bunch of new mods. I'll quickly go over them. I say a bunch. It wasn't tons, but it was a good amount. Um, I added... Da -da 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 -da, um... Something called Just Some Blessings, which is a mod that adds blessings as well as curses to the game. So, well, it doesn't add any curses, but it adds blessings as opposed to curses. I have tweaked their chances. I'm going to have to play around with it. There are some that were obscenely overpowered that I've just outright disabled. Most of them are pretty, pretty average. We shouldn't get anything crazy. We'll see. Uh, Angel Beggars, the original style Meat Boy and Bandage Girl, the Item Pedestal Overhaul, the No Empty Pedestals mod, so pedestals disappear when you pick something up. The Grinder, which can appear in secret rooms to allow you to reroll actives, and the Nerd Dispenser, which is something we'll see in shops. It basically allows you to buy the Nerd Trinket, and Foulgut is a take straight off the bat. That's a lot of HP. Um, yeah, it allows you to buy the Nerd Trinket in shops, which I have been sort of teetering on the edge of wondering whether to add that mod, but it costs 30 cents, so it's not exactly cheap, and honestly, there's so many runs where I would like to have no, and the fact that it has an associated cost with it, I like that idea. I like that idea. I think it's I think it's a fine idea to add. And yeah, so we'll, we'll see if we get any blessings. I've turned the pri like the the likelihood of blessings down by quite a bit. Uh, the prob probability was um, set to ten by default. I don't know what ten exactly means, but I'm guessing ten means like ten percent chance, and I turned that down to two percent or two. Because I think that um, I'd rather get more curses than blessings when we're playing in hard mode. I'd rather blessings be a, a rare treat rather than something we're getting w one or two of every single run. You know what I mean? I think that's a good way of doing it. If we go into our shop here, you'll see that as we see here, look, there is the no dispenser. So when we uh, get enough money and if we have a good active, we can buy that. Which I, ju I just think is a good way to not only have like a, a money dump, but... Being able to like lock in your actives, and I realise obviously overall that can make the game a little easier because once you buy it, you're going to get passives instead of actives that would otherwise be useless. But I think that just gonna it's just gonna lead to more enjoyable videos. I hope. I hope you guys agree because I think I think it is. Uh, do you know this 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 is a time where I pop the strength card, but honestly, I don't grab plum flute enough when I don't already have an active. So let's just buy, let's just uh, grab plum, plum flute. I think this is a, a good opportunity to. Someone mentioned it in a comment recently, and honestly, you're right. I forget to grab Plum Flute a lot, and it's a pretty darn good active. And it's not. It's likely to be better than whatever boss item we'd get. We could get damage ups or tier 8 ups, which would be great, but otherwise, I think it's very, very good. Um, as for the question of the day today, so there's Plum Flute. We'll grab it. I realize it's got a fairly high associated cost because I used Satanic Bible. But I'm still going to grab it regardless. Um, let's keep on going. But yeah, uh, as for the question of the day, um, what is something you would like to build and why? If you could build something, what would you like to build and why? This is an interesting question for me because I don't really have a specific answer, I think. I don't really have like something in mind that I'd really like to build. But I will say, I... I would just like to generally talk about being able to build things and do DIY in general. That is something that I would very much like to be able to do. Um, I'm ve like just not very good at DIY and building and repairs and all that sort of stuff in general. I'm not a very handy person and I, I kind of wish that I was. Um, oh god. I love this enemy. Uh, yeah, I, I really wish that I was. And... It's, it's definitely a difficult thing because most people that are handy will just say to you, hey, just practice and you'll get good at it sort of thing. And that is true, but I just don't have the time or really even the means to practice it. Like, obviously I could go out and buy stuff to practice it, but yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those things where as a renter at the minute, I don't earn my house. It's not an, imme an immediate need and I don't really have the spare time considering I do a full-time job and then YouTube on top of that. Um, to to go out and learn. Same with art. I'd love to be able to be a better artist, but I just don't really have the time to spend to learn. To, to like, it's not really learn as such. More practice being good at art, and it's it's something that I do kind of. What the hell? Why is that there? Um, I do kind of wish I was better at it. It, it, it's, it is just what kind of one of those things. But 
I don't know. I, in terms of something that I'd like to build, it's, it's definitely a difficult question because, like, there's just so many different things. I think uh, a few things I'd like to be able to build, and this is more so for when slash if I ever get a house. I'd like to be able to, like, build various different, like, shelves and, and things to enhance my cooking experience. As you guys probably all know by now, I'm a very avid cooker. I really like cooking. And I just, I'd like to, oh, bloody hell, that was really stupid of me to stand there. Like, where else was the enemy gonna come from um i i feel like building like little ooh, cloaked baby nice um i feel like building like spice racks and all that sort of cool stuff it'd be kind of an interesting little project to do and be kind of fun to just make a few different various things in the kitchen that help out um i'd like to be able to get a bit better at things like that and i know that's probably a pretty basic answer other people will be like saying thing inventions that would help the world and things like that i'm just like just give me give me a little spice rack i'll be down for that uh, ooh, 2020 as well. Yes, please. Okay, we've we've already reached a very high amount of uh, broken hearts here, but I feel like it's for a very good purpose, so I don't mind. Also, kind of weirdly, with triple shot, it's just like doubled our fire rate rather than doubling the amount of tears we fire. But also, I think it's increased our accuracy as well, but honestly, I'm down for that. Let's go fight our boss. This should wreck him. Ooh, petrified poop is decent as well here. Yeah, let's get out of the way before he splits. Yes, there you go. Look at that. He, he drove right over him there. But yeah, just in general, being a little more handy, being able to being able to build like shelving and storage and things like that would be would be really nice. I will check out my devil deal here. Um, I will definitely take that. I think that's gonna be super useful. And I'm gonna take some risks here. I'm gonna go one, two. I'm gonna buy that because it's essentially free. And then, eh, I'm going to do one more, and then we'll leave. Definitely a little bit of a risk there. And in fact, I'm going to try and... Can I buy from the shop as this character? I can never remember. I don't think I can. I was going to buy a soul heart, but I don't think I can. Doesn't matter. We'll go down to the next floor anyways. A little bit risky. My health is obviously very low. But, on the other side of that, my items are real good. Especially Eye of the Occult. Or, no, 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 that's not what it's called. Eye of Belial. I Belisle with 2020 triple shot is pretty amazing. Uh, it gives us a damage boost and piercing and herming. I, I, I really think I Belisle is one of those items that, what, like, I don't think it's underrated, but I think when people are talking about great items, it very rarely gets brought up in conversation. And I, I really think it it deserves to. It's It's very, very, very good. Okay. Oh, God. I didn't realize there was the bouncy mushrooms there. That was a very bad hit. Yeah, another reason I kind of took this as well is because, obviously, as you can see, I have the Satanic Bible, which is going to give me charges here and there. Just look at that. Wreck up the entire room. And it's really strong herming as well. I don't know if it's, like, the exact same as Spoonbender, but it feels like it's stronger. Like, it, 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 the, the tears curve more. And I realize shot speed is partially, like, to do with that. It's not all just um, the item itself, but, yeah... Rosary here is honestly worth it. Gives us a good amount of HP and a fire rate bonus. So I'm going to just check out my shop. So I can buy Broken Murder. That would give me another two Broken Hearts, which is pretty, pretty rough, to be honest. But broken Murder is too good to not take, so I'm going to go for it regardless. I, I, this is why I love this character. You just, you feel, or at least I feel so at mercy at the, uh, the risk-reward. I, I can't help myself but take everything and just abuse the risk-reward mechanics to their maximum. And it, 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 it's, it's just, it proves and it goes to show very well thought out and very, I don't know, very just, I, I really don't know how to describe it, but it just, to me, speaks volumes about how well made this character is and how, um, how much effort was put into making sure the, the power that they are given is balanced um, and the the just ability to, to sort of have that risk reward is is really actually rewarding. I think, yeah, I just, I can't believe how good of a job was done with it, really. It's, it's pretty impressive. I mean, we all know the creator of this mod, the person that also created um, Andromeda is insanely good at modding, so. And not just that, has very good ideas, too. 
I don't know if all the ideas are exactly their own. I don't know if they're collaboration ideas or or exactly theirs and that's it. But either way, they do a bang up job. They do a bang up job. Do you have to say, in a little bit of a of a more sombre mood from the from the first recording, because um unfortunately, um ooh, okay, we got what the uh, we got empty book. I think I'm just gonna take bookworm and dip, I'll be honest. I'm happy to see Bible here though. Um, because we shouldn't get Bible again, I don't think, right now. I can't remember if that's how Rosary works. But either way, we're two-thirds Seraphim now, which is nice. Um, ah, not worth it. Not worth it. Uh, but yeah, sli slightly more somber mood, unfortunately, just because, um, sadly, between the uh, last... So it's been about three, four hours since the last recording, and between now and then... My girlfriend's grandma unfortunately passed away. Uh, it was something that we we knew was coming. I mentioned in the last episode that my girlfriend had gone to see family. That is why she um, basically been told by her mum early hours of this morning. Well, I say early hours, but about nine o'clock. Yeah, uh, no, it was it was actually no, it was it was early morning yesterday that her grandma had kind of taken a turn and they put her on morphine um, just to ease her pain, um, and um, that, that that she was basically going to be whacked out. From from now until until the end, pretty much. Um, so she was like, "Okay, I'm gonna go see her tomorrow because because I best do." And unfortunately, on her drive down before she even got there, it happened, which is a real shame. But we we'd uh, we'd been no we we'd, we'd known it had been coming for a good while. So it, while it is sad, it's at least nice that she's not suffering anymore. But it's just it's unfortunate. But that's life. That's life. Sometimes it happens. I did, I did quite like her grandma as well. She she was definitely of the older generation in terms of like her opinions, but she was she was she was a nice person. I remember the the first thing um, I ever heard about her grandma was um, when I was I think seventeen. I can't remember if it was when I was sixteen. We got together when I was sixteen. I can't remember if it was when I was sixteen or seventeen. But anyways, um, she said that she'd. Um, after the first time I, I saw her, um, the the day after, Katie um, had a phone call with her grandma and obviously asked what she thought about me. And her, her response was, he's more of a boy than a man. And it's like, well, for one, I was a boy. I was like 16 or 17, but still, I just found that hilarious. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I've got, I've got some good memories of her. We went to um, Katie's cousin's wedding when I was 18, I think. 17, 18, with her grandmother, and she was she was nice. Such is life, unfortunately. Such is life. But anyways, not to, not to bring a complete downer on the mood of today's episode. I just... I just thought I'd mention it regardless. Oh, fucking it. Oh, no. I hate this boss. Okay, good. Oh, I kind of wish I'd taken the last guppy item now, because there's another one there. What's this do again? Uh, it's not very good. Um, I'll take a risk and get rid of uh, Broken Heart there. We also got a damage up. Kind of nice. Sadly, I'm not going to take that, and I am just going to leave... But yeah, like, I think, I think I definitely should have when I was younger. It's probably like a, I wouldn't say it's a huge regret, but like a little regret of mine when I was younger is my dad's always been, um, how does this work? Okay. Uh, my dad's always been quite a handy person. Like he's a painter and decorator. So he's, he's pretty good uh, with like building things, manual labor, all that sort of good stuff. And I probably should have learned a few more like decent life skills in terms of like, self-sustaining with building things and repairing things off of him before I left home. I didn't because I'm a nerd and into IT. Ha ha ha. Nerd boy sort of thing. And <laughs> just didn't do anything manual. Uh, but I probably should have done. It, it, it would have definitely benefited me, especially, like I said, whenever I end up getting a house. Because at the, at the moment, things are cushy. I, I, I rent. Like, if things break, I just ring a number and I get it fixed and I don't have to pay for it. But once you get a house, everything's your problem. Everything is your problem. At the minute, it's not my job, not my prob. 
I'm going to go to the warehouse and polish my knob. But now, everything is my job. In my Well, when I get a house, everything will be my job. And my prop. So, it, under those circumstances, I'm going to have to uh, actually try and learn some things. Just to save a bit of money. Considering how expensive things are already getting, I'm imagining that I'm going to be fairly reluctant to spend £600 fixing a washing, getting a washing machine repaired if it's plausible that I can do it myself. Now, the plausibility of me being able to do it myself isn't super high, but... But, we'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll spend some time. I mean, I do, work, I do work from home, so... Especially, like, this is obviously way, way down the line, but whenever I do end up getting a house, that'll probably be when I decide to have a kid. Um, I've not... We, we've not really planned that out properly yet, but that'll probably be then. Um, ooh, nah, I've already got Hermie. I've, I've already got Bookworm as well. This is why we should have bought the Nurse Trinket, you see? Um, what trinket did we have, by the way? Because we don't have one now. I don't really know. Ow, walk right into that. Do you know what? Let's, let's pop one of those. Hello, sir. Yeah, um, like, I'll probably, obviously, cut back YouTube a little bit, and then maybe that'll be the time that I learn. <laughs> I do intend on doing YouTube sort of for the long haul, though. I've not really got, like, a, 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 like an end date in mind at all. Oh, hello. I love this Fallen. He's so good looking. It makes me sound like I fancy him, but I just meant that like his, his animations and sprites are really cool. He's so good looking. What the hell's this? Devil's Bargain. Grants a passive item for the current room from the current room's pool and removes some heart containers after being fully charged without getting hit. After being fully charged without getting hit. You get to keep the item plus the hearts that were taken are given back. If you get hit while recharging, the item is taken away and your hearts won't be returned. That seems interesting. I'm going to take that. It's probably a mistake. Um, and I don't know how many hearts it's going to end up taking. But I'm, I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested. I want to wait until I've got a few more hearts first. Because I have a feeling that if I use this, it might kill me. So I'm going to wait until I've got a few more hearts and then I'll try it out. But it sounds interesting, and it's always cool to find a new Mastema item while playing as Mastema. Okay, can we get a secret room here? Boom. Yes! Good secret room as well. One soul heart, two luck upgrades, spawns a golden pickup. That would give, that's good, but that would limit my health a bit too much, I think. I'd like to have more available space than that if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna use this Devil's Bargain thing here. Bargains, bargains, bargains. Good, good, good. I've always commented about how I feel like those are pretty powerful, those Dawn Mix. But someone made a very good argument, um, I think it was that boy actually, that um, they're not really that overpowered because it essentially took me like about 300 hours of playing with Repentance installed to, to start to actually learn like how to recognize them. It took a pretty considerable amount of time. So, so therefore it's like not that big a deal really. Because most people aren't going to put that much time in, realistically. So most people aren't going to um, have that same issue, aren't going to feel like they're overpowered. Because to them, they're not going to be. Because most of the time, they won't see them and they'll get hit by them. And in the rare chance that they do see them, it's a nice little treat rather than like a bonus that you find almost every single time sort of thing. Okay, so next room, let's pop this devil's thing, see what happens. I don't know what... Okay, give us, it gave us um, the kiss. Typeset. We don't need typeset. We've got Broken Murdom. Typeset would be a waste on us. So... 
I think we've got some sort of timer countdown that we have to not get hit for. I think that's the deal here. Oh, hello, dry baby. Did you have to create two of these? Oh, so wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, no, no. I think I get it. Oh, my lord. This is a creepy room. So I think I get it. I, I think I've got to make it all the way to another full charge without getting hit. And then I get to keep the item and I get the health back. If that's... I think, I think I'm understanding that right. But if I get hit, I lose the item and the health. This is a really cool item, if that's the case. I like that idea. Um, plus one black heart, damage up. Mm, yes, I'll take that. I'd like, I like the damage up idea, because our damage is pretty low right now. Okay, this is a rather tricky room here, honestly. I, I'm, yeah, this is a really tricky room. Oh my god. Um, I somehow did it. I don't really know how. Okay, big, big jumpy boy, leave him be. Okay, so we'll see if we get hit against Mum. Honestly, our damage is pretty good, so I'm hoping not. But I honestly can't say for sure. The foot tends to, tends to catch me out sometimes. Especially when it's like in the way and you can't see what other things are going on. There you go, we got it there. We'll take the Polaroid here. We'll check the Devil Deal. I don't know if um, the spikes will count as taking damage as such. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I don't know if the spikes there will count as taking damage, so I'm just not going to bother. Um, I doubt I want to do this, but I'll check it out. Ch -ch -ch Checking it out. Yeah, unfortunately nothing there I really want. My reflection is definitely tempting. I do love my reflection. If it was in any other circumstance, I'd take it. <sighs> Iron bar there, kind of nice, but not really what we're looking for right now. Oh, bugger. Bugger me. Fucking stupid enemy. You... You fat, ugly twat. Ah! I was one room off. I was one room off. You cock. You absolute cock. How could you do that to me? I was one room off. And the stupid, stupid enemies. Fucking... Ugh. Oh, you... Piece of shit. Oh. I'm angry. Stupid. Stupid little... Ooh. Ooh, everyone loves Skrullex. Let's make an enemy based on Skrullex. Yeah. Everybody fucking loves Skrullex as a boss. Everyone likes waiting around for a thing to jump and do some explosive bullshit. Mmm. Gotta love Skrullex. He's a fun one, isn't he? God damn it. Stupid Skrullex piece of shit. Anger. It overtakes me. I'd like Ipecac to remove Skrullex, please. No one asked for more Skrullex. Uh, apparently, according to the developers, at some point in time, I, I gave that idea the thumbs up, but I must have been high as shit. I must have been drugged off of my mind. Because, for one, I do not remember that. And two, 
I don't know why I'd ever say that. <laughs> He's a cool enemy. I like this guy. Tower. See, I did this in this room and I've just realized that I don't really know how to recognize tinted rocks in in this uh in this layout. So I don't think that was very valuable to me, I'll be honest. Whoa, one of these looking guys, what the fuck? I love the way they look. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Why not? Give me some speed. Decent enough. Okay, these enemies are real tricky because of the positioning they put themselves in here. Whoa! <laughs> Why keep waving the infl inflatable ampoule and tube men? Oh hell, this guy's this guy's pooting out little fellas. What what what's all this about? Okay, stay the hell away from these guys. They hit me all the time. A free trial expired. Oh, I think we had Sacred Heart for a hot minute there. I kind of forgot I used that, I'll be honest. Okay, Conquest. Remember, Conquest has changed. He's got some new abilities. He's got a second phase now. <laughs> this with Broken Murder looks so jank. Oh, dude, that was... That was harsh. And you gave me a pony. Right, let's, um... Let's pop you... Hey, that's a pr that's a pretty good item to get in this situation right here. You gave me the butterfly. I'll take that. It's pretty decent. Spin down dice there. I do like spin down dice. Although I'm just gonna play the hell out of this guy. I think. Give me some wispy business. I don't think we've had any blessings so far. Right. Let's just stand on this guy for a little while. Oh, the nurturing is in the top left there, look. I don't know if this guy can pay out with an actual item. I've not seen that before. But obviously, I'd imagine he pays out with Book of Virtues, right? Or, um, Jar of Wisps. But I've never actually seen him pay out. He can also pay out with that, which is pretty good. I'll take that. Okay. Careful of these fellas. Needs to be really careful as well of the, um, the bloody... Do you know what? I completely forgot what I was about to say now. I need to be careful of something. I, I remember that. I remember that much. I don't remember what else that's, that, that sentence was going to say. Who knows? Eternal Heart there. Oh, one moment. I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, my girlfriend just called. She's just on the way back now. A bit of a sad day. But, like I said, it unfortunately just is what it is. And at least we... We knew it was coming. It wasn't. It wasn't like a, a, a big sort of shock to the system. It wasn't out of nowhere, which doesn't doesn't make it much better. But it at least gives you time to to prepare for what's what's about to come, sort of thing. So I think it's probably um, takeaway and TV tonight, and just just chill out and 
relax, not do anything intensive, get an early night sort of thing. But anyways, we'll, we'll blast through the rest of this floor. And then I think after this, I'm going to make my make my way over to the gym. I wasn't good. Well, I was going to go today, but I was going to go later. But obviously, with what's happened, she doesn't really want to go anymore. So I'm just going to go on my own um, and have a little run. And watch the Always Sunny podcast while I do. Because, oh my god. I don't know how many of you watch um, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. For one, if you don't, just go do it. It's amazing. It's hilarious. The first season is is definitely not as good as the others. I would I would definitely say that... If you if if you have, if you are impressions on it that you have already are based on the first season, uh, let's pop this. Should we get stem cells there? Fuck's sake. Um, if your opinions on it are based like currently on the first season, or if you start watching it and you think, eh, it's not for me, push through the first season. It gets a lot better in the second. It's still good in the first, but it's a lot better in the second. Um, and the uh, they have a podcast on YouTube and a few other places where they um just talk about the episodes, but also talk about just anything and everything. And honestly, it's so fucking funny. It's so good. Uh, they've, they've done like a few trivia quizzes where they have people call in and like uh, answer questions about the show and stuff. It's just very entertaining. And it's been really, really good to like watch while I'm out of the gym. Just nice and distracting. And like, they're like perfectly timed episodes, like 45 minutes to 50 minutes, which is about as long as I'm normally at the gym. So it, it, they've been like perfectly planned out. <laughs> Obviously not on purpose, but for me, it, it works out really nicely. Right. Oh, you're still alive. Shit. <laughs> Thank you for giving me that. I forgot that you were still alive. The priest fellas. Right. Ah, mushroom, you bounced me. I'm hoping our little sextant thing will uh, give us some pathing here, tell us where to go. This guy is this guy is tonky, very tonky. Okay, accidentally walked into a greed ambush. Honestly, uh, what's it called is saving my life right now. Um, broken modem doing such a good job. Steam sale this late in the game for two broken hats? I think not. Ooh, this is interesting. Having an invincible one of those. I really think they did a, like, they've done a very, very good job with their enemy design in Fiend Folio, and not just in general, like, not just, uh, uh, just their enemy design, in enemy design in general, but, like, a bunch of their different rooms, are like, some of the rooms that have these weird things where, like, it's a wave of enemies followed by another wave. And in situations like that right there, where you've got that, them enemies that make some invincible. Um, and it, it really, yeah, it does a really good job at, like, changing up some of the room designs where you've got something like that where it's more of a support type of enemy that you can't deal with until you deal with a boss. Normally, you just kill it and then kill the boss, but it kind of forces your hand and makes makes you play the way that they want you to play. I don't know, I, I just got mad respect for, for the room designers for some of the creative ways that they've implemented some of the enemies and things here. I think it's I think it's really good. God damn, we're getting some really bad items from uh, our Devil's Harvest, whatever you want to call it, Devil's Bargain thing. It's not it's not great. I also went the wrong way, which is pretty sad. Ooh. These squid enemies are, uh, yeah, they, they, they make your stats go pretty, pretty bonkers. Oh, ho, 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 ho. With the piercing and everything there, it's just lovely. Piercing, herming, all that good jazz. Oh, hello. Why have you got a little angel around you this time around? You've got two little dudes around you. Oh, I do not like this. I feel like this is going to be a, a chance for me to get hit a few times. But he's going down reasonably fast. Okay, give us an angel item or a soul heart. Soul heart's actually probably better right now. I like that as well, having the mini boss that always shows up that can give you an angel or soul heart for for um the sh for shiel and this floor. It's really good incentive to explore a little more. I often do forget about it. I'll I'll admit, but again, just Fiend Folio has done so many things to to like mix up the game past just it being new enemies like. 
I was really, really expecting, like, to not like Fiend... I've said it before. I was really expecting to not really like Fiendfolia because I didn't really like the first version, the Afterbirth Plus version of Fiendfolia. It wasn't really my thing. But they just... They've built onto it so much and really made it into something way more special than the first version was. Of course, all the items add to it, but all the consumables, all the different, um, like, stylistic things, like all these different rocks and stuff, they've expanded that hugely. It's just, I don't know, it's just kind of crazy to me how how much they've done for the game. And it is really one of those things where if, if Edmund was so inclined, which I honestly believe he won't be because it just seems like a ridiculous amount of effort for something that does currently work as a mod... If you're so inclined, I really could see Fiendfolia very much being a, um, very much being a full-fledged actual expansion. Also, thank you so much to the reworked foes and enemies uh, for adding actual tells to that boss. You fantastic human being. That's one of the best changes I've ever seen in my life. I've been asking for that for so damn long. Our damage is scaling up because of the uh, na the narrow misses, the Toho references. The bombs are pretty good as well there. This should kill him. There you go. Right, last floor, see what you end up getting. <sighs> Strawberry milk is insanity. I will definitely take that. Literally, it's double damage as long as you tap fire. It's really, really broken right now. It needs uh, it needs a nerf, which it's going to get at some point. I, I was saying in like an episode a few, like maybe a week ago or so, something around that, about how... Um, I'd, I'd like to see if a could do more um, do more small patches rather than waiting for a big update. But they did clarify, and a few other people did clarify, why small updates are much, much more difficult and more taxing and just more labor intensive. And so I completely understand that uh, they're waiting for their big patch, their big update. But on the other side of that, it seems like their big update is still a good while away, like probably a good few months. So there's going to be a few things that are currently in Ipecac that aren't amazing. Saying that though, I um, I think the update from what I've seen of it so far is going to be revolutionary for Ipecac. Um, I'm hoping there's going to be some performance improvements, but I know that it will it'll be limited. I'm not expecting I'm not expecting it to be night and day. Um, but I'm, I I know there's going to be a few little bits here and there from what I've heard. But also yeah, a lot of the new changes, additions, tweaks. Everything just, they, they seem to be doing an absolutely fantastic job so far. Um, and considering I know that the Ipecac dev team is fairly limited in their resources, um, it's it's pretty impressive what they're managing to do. So I'm really looking forward to their next update. And I'm hoping um, myself and hopefully a few other people in the community uh, can give um, give the mod a good push because I feel like it's, it's unfortunately got a slightly bad rap within the community um, where... The vast majority of people... Actually, that's probably not worth taking, to be honest. The vast majority of people that are avid, like, mod users, especially in, like, the, the discords and stuff, know that Ipecac has kind of a, a notoriety for it being a bit laggy. So I'm hoping that um, coming into the next update, it can it can change in people's opinion and, and, and get them using it. Because it has, it has long since been one of my favourite mods in Isaac. Um, obviously, uh, I think... Fiendfolia has really taken the cake for that, but I don't think Fiendfolia really counts in the same way because, like, Ipecac's made by, like, three people or four people, whatever. Fiendfolia's made by, like, 40 or whatever, and it's just, it's it's a it's a way bigger project, so I don't really think you can class them the same way that you do with other mod packs. And, yeah, Ipecac has been one that I've supported for a long time, since the AB Plus days. Always loved it, and I think, I think it adds... It, it adds a lot of really good stuff that is both, like, on tea with vanilla. It's, it feels vanilla, but also they add enough that's that's just just out there enough to be, like, a bit more interesting and a bit more unique uh, without really pushing the boat out too much, without making it too crazy. And I respect that a lot. I think they've done a very good job with that. 
Oh, I love rooms like this when you have piercing. They're so satisfying. Yeah, it's a hard, it's a hard um, tightrope to to walk, but they seem to do a pretty good job of it. Yeah, you can see with Strawberry Milk here just how insane her damage has become. Extra Soul Heart there that we don't actually need. Astral Beggar Boy there, but I don't need that right now. I'm so close to the boss. Right, let's do it. But you can see my damage going slightly down and slightly up, because you, you just tap fire, and it gives you double damage permanently. It's such an insanely good item. The only thing is it gives you RSI a little bit, but as long as you're willing to accept that, that's fine. Boom. Run done. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.